Hey guys, this is Steve from Natobi, and uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to get started, the quick start for uh, um, iOS and PhoneGap. So hopefully you already know what PhoneGap is, and um, just follow along as best as you can, and uh, you should have a Hello World app by the t before we're done this video. So first let's go to PhoneGap.com and click on the Getting Started. There you go, and we're gonna click on iOS. So go ahead. Let's just uh, well, let's just open it. There we go. And this is the guide that we're gonna be following. It's and if you want to get to this guide directly, it's at wiki.phonegap.com. There's tons of other information there as well. So definitely check it out. Um, looking at the requirements, we gotta make sure we have a Mac or uh, running Snow Leopard preferably. Um, an Apple iOS device. Uh, you don't really need this, but because uh, Xcode does come with a, an emulator. But um, we do recommend that you run it on a device. You run your app on a device before you submit it to the App Store, just to uh, really test it properly. And uh, an iOS developer certification. So you only need this. Uh, you need this to install apps on the iOS device but you can still test in the emulator without these bottom two okay so step one let's download the latest copy of PhoneGap see where this takes us download PhoneGap so here it is um, you might as well let's just click the zip uh, if you are really keen on developing for the PhoneGap framework you can even go into github um, this GitHub link, I believe, takes you to the latest code. So this is right here, 0.9.2. But if you go here, this version under PhoneGap, PhoneGap should be even newer than 0.9.2. It's on the edge, but for now, let's just work with the released version. So 0.9.2. So click zip. You should have a pop-up. There you go. It starts to download. And now we have it downloaded. Uh, you want to extract that file. I already have it open, so here it is. Here's my PhoneGap 0.9.2 zip. And I extracted it to PhoneGap. And wh what we need is the iOS directory. So there you go. I'm assuming that you already have Xcode installed. That was one of the requirements, I believe. I showed you right up here. When you install Snow Leopard, you gotta make sure Xcode and the iPhone SDK is installed. If you don't have those installed, what you do is you go into the iOS Dev Center. I already have it open right here. And in here, there's a bunch of getting started documents and uh, there's the download right there. So you download it, you install it. That's a good long, it's, it takes about an hour to, to download and install. So you wanna make sure you already have this part done before carrying on with the video. All right, so let's go back to our file. So here it is. So go into the iOS directory. Uh, we have a PhoneGap uh, installer here. So we're gonna open the installer and you're gonna follow through all of this, all of these steps. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing that should really throw you off. Oh, one thing to make sure of is before you install, you wanna make sure your Xcode is closed. So go ahead and quit it. Um, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to, but there we go. We're going to click install. It's going to do the installation and then finish. So once you're done, uh, the PhoneGap library installer package, we're good to start Xcode. So open up Xcode, go file, new project. After you install it, let me bring this down here. After you install it, um, you should see under user templates a phone gap option. So click it, click choose. We're going to call our app today Hello World. There we go. Base SDK missing. So this is just a common, a common problem that we have. So what you do is you want to go edit project oh project edit project settings uh, and then for base SDK for all configurations you're going to want to select um, the, 
latest iOS. Once that's done, just close that and then you usually have to click the active target. There you go. Simulator build and run. Now this should build and run onto our emulator here. And there it is, a nice blank screen. So how this uh, phone gap app is um, laid out is there's a www directory and inside of the www directory there's an index.html. This is where all of your your HTML files, your CSS files, your, your images, all your assets will go in here. So this right here is just a, a skeleton for your app. There's actually nothing of value in it. What we want to do is we want to uh, make our app say hello world for instance. So go to the body, let's add a, a header tag. Hello world. Save that. And we're going to stop what's going on there and we're going to build and run. Hello world. And that's how easy it is. In here you can edit, you can start from here. And that's how easy it is to get started. Um, if you didn't notice, I switched from device to simulator. I do have my device plugged in. Um, if you start on simulator, if you don't have a device plugged in, you shouldn't even have base SDK missing. If you do have that problem, uh, it is documented fairly well on here what to do. Um, right here, if you have base SDK missing, go to project, edit project settings, then choose base SDK for all configurations, latest SDK. So that's exactly what I did. You don't need to worry about that unless you're working on a device and if you have that problem. But um, I believe that's it. A few general, general tips I want to give you before you get started. Um, we have a doc site, docs.phonegap.com, so you can learn about all the uh, PhoneGap API calls in here. Great resource. Uh, any questions you have, you can post on uh, the PhoneGap Google group. This is where we always send people. It's our, it's our main hub. Um, if you want to email me about something in this tutorial, feel free to at, feel free to at uh, steve.gill at natobi.com. I'll just write it down. So there it is. Um, or you can even add me on Twitter and you can send me a message there, stevengill97. There it is. Um, yep, good luck.